Hello, I'm Tim Wilcox with a summary of the BBC World News. The leaders of Turkey, Iran and Russia are meeting later to discuss the conflict in Syria. After seven years of civil war, Syrian government forces with Russian air support have been preparing for a major offensive on the rebels' final stronghold of Idlib. Turkey is concerned that an assault could lead to a new influx of refugees across its border. Our correspondent Mark Lowen in Istanbul uh, had the latest. Turkey has consistently backed the rebels in Syria, while Moscow and Tehran have supported the Assad regime and taken President Assad now to the brink of victory, with the, uh, the, the an imminent assault now on the last major rebel stronghold of Idlib. And, and so it is awkward for President Erdogan, even though the three sides are cooperating quite closely, because they have different aims in Idlib. Moscow and Tehran back uh, the regime takeover of Idlib, the liquidation, as they call it, of uh, the rebel stronghold um, uh, destruction of HTS, that, uh, that jihadist group that Quentin mentioned in his piece there. Uh, but Turkey is really concerned about, the, uh, the la about, about supporting the rebels in this last rebel stronghold. It's concerned about the fate of the uh, moderate, back moderate opposition uh, that Turkey has consistently backed. And of course, it is very concerned about the fate of some two and a half million refugees that have fled into Idlib from other parts of the country which have fallen to the regime. And, and as you heard there, uh, Turkey's borders remain closed because of the fear of a rebel of, of, a, of a refugee influx. Mark Lohan. British Airways says it is investigating the theft of customer data from its website and mobile app. The airline says personal and financial details of customers making bookings was compromised, but that passport details were safe. The breach took place between the 21st of August and the 5th of September. BA says it has contacted all its affected customers. This was a very sophisticated criminal attack on BA.com. And over more than 20 years that BA.com has been operating, we've never had a breach of this type. We are absolutely committed to integrity of the data of our customers. The important thing is as soon as we found out that these records uh, may have been compromised, we began the communications uh, process through all channels available and of course directly to the customers to alert them about this potential problem. President Trump has described the New York Times article attacking him as a new all-time low. At a rally of supporters in Montana, he called for the paper to name the author of the anonymous piece, which was deeply critical of him. Members of his administration, including Vice uh, President Mike Pence, have been lining up to deny their involvement. More on that story and the others on the website. From me and the team, bye-bye.